Survivor running towards the Smasher. Girl, what are you doing? Oh, wait, did he just change colors? It looked like wait, it. He's purple now. He's not even. He's not. He's not on fire anymore. Oh wait, he's on fire. He, what the heck? A one. Hey, we see the colors. I see it. I'm gonna knock the element off of you. Yeah, it is. I knocked that element off your ass. <laughs> <laughs> No, I knocked the black off you. Do it. Ah, you knocked the black off me. Told you. For today's video, we're going to get some gameplay with the new Sir Lancelot Spear, which is currently available in the weekly store for 1,680 gold. They're also selling Battlehound Jonesy, who we've already gotten gameplay with. The only thing I wanted to point out when it comes to Battlehound Jonesy that I didn't mention in the gameplay is that you want to make sure you put Undercover Vaughn in one of your support team slots because his perk will help increase your frag grenade damage. But yeah, I'll leave a link to that Battlehound Jonesy gameplay in the description for those who wanna go check it out. And I'm also gonna quickly scroll over everything that's in the weekly store. Anyways, here's what the Sir Lancelot Spear looks like up close. And as you can tell, it's also a part of the medieval weapon set. And the perks that came with ours were crit rating, armor, physical damage, damage, crit damage, and hitting an enemy with this weapon grants A plus armor for five seconds. And that can stack up to five times. And at the very bottom, it says Spear Medieval, a spear that combines a good mix of damage and impact to deliver long range thrusting attacks. And it also has the Joust Heavy Attack, which makes you charge forward, damaging and knocking back smaller enemies in your way. I also want to scroll over all of the different slots and show you all of the available options. And I think we may go ahead and change some of our perks. So we're actually going to use two different Sir Lancelots. The perks that we have on ours are Crit Rating, Attack Speed, physical damage and crit damage and long range is going to give us one that has two impacts and two attack speeds so we're going to test both of these out and see what they look like all right so we're going to test it using deadly lotus luna as our commander because she has the poking holes commander perk because it increases your spirit damage by 50 percent against afflicted enemies and it also causes your spirit to apply affliction which deals 18 and a half percent weapon damage per second for three seconds for our team perk, we're going to be using Dim Mac, which causes our shadow stance to regenerate 2.7% shield per second for every ninja that we have in our support team. And we have five ninjas in our support team. And for our support team, we have Piercing Lotus Edge, Fleetfoot Ken, Lotus Assassin Ken, as well as Cloak Shadow, and the Lemurai. Uh, this is the best loadout I could come up with. Let me know what kind of loadout you all came up with while trying out the Sir Lancelot. All right, so the mission we're gonna do is this level 100 retrieve the data and long range is gonna be helping us out. Before we get to the gameplay, I do wanna test it out against some level 100 mist monsters. And first we're gonna start off with this blaster. And here's what the regular attack looks like. Oh, it just like pokes them repeatedly. You killed him that fast? Yeah, we killed him pretty quick. I think after like four or five pokes. And let's go ahead and test out the heavy attack on this blaster see what it looks like here we go oh 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 wow we killed him in two heavy attacks wait did you see how far we traveled though let's see how far we go charge so we go like almost two tiles and the heavy attack only uses 24 energy with our current loadout Obviously, you can reduce that if you were playing with Piercing Lotus Edge. Let's go ahead and test it out on this taker and this blaster. Here we go. Taker! Get poked. Oh. oh, man. It kills them quick. It actually kills them really quick. Oh, wow. Let's use our heavy attack. We killed all those husks that were in our way. Nice. Get poked. This is actually a pretty decent melee weapon in my opinion i also wanted to test it out against this level 100 smasher oh why is the sky moving so fast no one wants you here smasher yeah we don't want you here smasher and first we're going to start off with the regular attack here we go oh wow really good with there at least is. one oh Time and we killed him quick down, commander i think the highest damage we did was 150,000 the right the there launcher. And we killed him in about three seconds. But yeah, here's what the attack speed looks like with one attack speed perk. It almost looks like the first attack is kind of slow and then it's followed up by three quicker attacks. Yeah, it goes slow, three quick ones, slow, three quick ones, slow, slow, three quick ones, slow, slow. So that's sort of what the regular attack looks like. 
And those three quick ones can do a lot of damage really fast. If you have one attack speed perk. Let's go check it out with two attack speed perks. Here we go. Oh, yep, it is a little bit faster. Let's go take these guys out first. Ungar! Oh, wow, we did over 300,000 damage right there. Let's go test it out on the shielder. Here we go. Oh, we just knocked that Riot Husky back. And we did damage through the shield. Let's go ahead and do a heads up with the Riot Husky this time. See what happens. Round one, fight. Oh, we pushed them back. We're not doing damage, but we can push them back. Pokey, pokey. That's kind of weird. So you can push them back a little bit, but you can't do damage to them. I feel like I'm trying to harpoon a whale with this thing. So you can't use your heavy attack uh -uh. when you're in the air, but you can use your regular attack while you're in the air. So if you see takers in the air, you can actually do damage to them while they're in the air. I know it's a lot to ask. What is it? I really can't leave without it. It's somewhere nearby. You really can't leave without it. Wait, what? It's somewhere the nearby. Paper? Yes, the toilet paper. I was getting worried. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> This thing just absolutely oh, destroys man. everything. No one's Thanks again for your help. See you soon. Oh, is the dude I know up here? To ask. Oh, he's still up here. Mm -hmm. I really can't leave without it. Damn, it's bro. Nearby. He's he's still up here needing toilet paper. He no longer goes by Ned Kit, people. His new name is officially Ned Shit. Wait, can we destroy it's the toilet Ned. paper? Ah, uh, I can't even destroy it. Toilet paper's OP, people. Get him on. Oh, you gave me one with each element. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you could showcase it. I thought you just dropped all of them because you wanted to be Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> so Longrange gave us a Sir Lancelot with each of the three different elements. Uh, this is what it looks like with the nature element. Here's what it looks like with the fire element. And here's what it looks like with the water element. So, yeah, here's what it looks like with the energy element. Big shout out to Long Range for wasting all of that reperk for us. Get on my stick. It is all right. You know what I mean. Oh. Oh man. Oh. Oh, I think my spear's glitching out. My spear's no, no, my spear's no, glitching out. I got like some white stuff coming from it. <laughs> that those. Something white coming out of my stick. <laughs> what, is, what is going on? <laughs> well, I was trying to explain what I saw. That was the best description I could come up with. There's white stuff coming out of my stick. They won. What happened? My stick is glowing. You see it? Wow. I told you. Sweet. Now try to describe what you're looking at right now. Uh. There's some white stuff at the end of my stick. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You see? Let me splash. Please. I feel like we're hunting big prey, man. Wait, does it stop them from smashing? Wait, if it stops them from... <gasps> oh, wow. That's impressive. You can try to get the best. Fucking robots! You just bugged out. You heard that? Yeah, she got like five different voices. Oh yeah, it worked. Oh wow. Okay, we started. We just started, people, and we don't have any fall damage. I'm gonna go ahead and finish building. All right. Oh. Oh, it's just a little one. Don't kill him, right? Uh, well, yeah, we're, we got to get gameplay with it, so. Yeah, go ahead, okay. kill him. But I've heard there's a way you can sort of make retrieve the data easier, but I'll go over that in another video. Oh, we got, oh, be careful, man. We got right huskies, and we're near the edge. Okay. If I can uh, kick them off. Smasher? It is. Oh, oh man. Oh, I need to get away from here. 
So we're not using any traps. We do have two defenders. And they're both melee defenders. And everybody's using the Sir Lancelot sword. I'm going for it. Oh man. I tried to knock him off. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall off, Wait, man. Did I put my defender down? Yeah, you, you didn't put it down yet? Uh -uh. No, not yet. Yep, go ahead and put it down. I feel like I'm gonna uh, fall off one? the map, man. Yep. I can't kill this husk with my spear. I, I think he glitched out. You're not doing any damage at all? Nothing. It's just going through him. Uh, switch me places. Let me see if I can get him. Yep, alright. Alright, we're good to go. Alright, I got him on this side. You oh, you got him? Okay. I think so. Yep. That's oh. weird, I can kill him. My spear is uh, more powerful. We're gonna have to double team him. Yeah, smash over there? No, if we get one, we're gonna have to double team him. Alright. Yep. Him. How are the uh, defenders doing? Oh, one of them's down. My bad, Val. Is yours down yet? Ah, uh, nope, not yet. Wish I could. All right, and go in uh, down. All right, good to go. Mine is down. All right. So as you just saw right there, we took out all of those smaller husks with ease. We took them out pretty quick. So I feel like it's good when it comes to large groups of regular Huss, as well as Miss Monsters. And what perks do we have on these with the element? Let's see, we're using nature, attack, okay. Double attack speed, double impact. I can definitely tell we're doing a little bit less damage compared to the one where we had the crit rate and crit damage. But we're also like stabbing stuff a lot quicker with this one. But they both feel good with both of them after trying out both. I like both of them. So as long as you have one tech speed on there, I think you'll be good to go. Data's looking good. At least one. This is so weird, like, I'm just not used to stabbing stuff, you know what I mean? It feels weird. Yeah, I completely understand. Uh, when we first started this mission, I was a little nervous, but we're putting in work with these things. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. Val's going at it. I think with that dim, uh, that dim Mac perch pretty good as well, because that's constantly giving us our shield back. Yeah, that's definitely helping out a lot. I haven't really lost that much health up to this point. Same. Kind of feel like if you're using Dim Mac, you don't really need survivalists. Especially if you have Adrenaline Rush. But in my opinion, it's a really solid melee loadout. I'm kind of surprised because we don't have any heroes increasing our crit chance or anything or crit damage but we're still killing stuff pretty quick with this particular loadout kind of surprised we have tried spears one time before with the previous hero loadout system but it wasn't really as good as compared to this one Get this taker out of here. We also got some, uh, lobbers. yeah, lobbers. Get them out of here. Us uh, changing directions. But yeah, I think uh, this is probably going to be the best commander when it comes to another file doing damage with spears. Uh, if you prefer just using a heavy attack as much as possible, then you may want to go with Piercing Lotus Edge instead. Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, I actually like the different animations for this spear. We got blasters, so be careful, man. Yeah, I like I like how it uh, stops the smasher from charging. Yeah, that's another really good thing about it. Not too many melee weapons do that, does it? I'm trying to think. Um, Not unless it staggered. So. Well, no. I don't know. But yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, that's another thing I really like about it. Uh, for those of you who have tried it, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Someone left a comment in the previous video saying uh, that they were having glitches with it or having troubles with it. So, for those of you who have tried it, let me know what you all think about it. Hopefully we get some more spear oriented heroes. But even without them, I still feel like we're doing all right. Oh, we got some, yep, Smasher. Poke, poke, poke. Ah, oh, he didn't have a chance, man. Oh, we got another one. Get him, stab him. 28 stab wounds. There we go. Am I still using the nature one? Okay, we're good. 40 seconds. Oh, there's another smash. There's so many. Let's spear his life. There we go. Oh, they keep coming. What? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get you all. Let's smoke them out. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, it's a really good heavy attack, though. In my opinion. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Sorry Land to Light gameplay. Hey, we did pretty good. Actually performed better than I thought it would. Perfection. Alright, we got 140,000 XP, gold, and people. And that was it. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Sorry Land to Light gameplay. Big shout out to Long Grange for helping us out. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.